Well, here comes a match I've been looking forward to for quite a while. The son of the legend, L. Canick Jr. And in the vein of many stars that Demand Lucha has brought to you in the past, legends like El Pantera, like Super Parka, Blue Demon Jr., Super Astro, El Hijo del El Santo. And there he is, El Canick Jr., just one of the many, many legends and lucha stars we have brought in in the past. Octagoncito Jr., the legendary Vampiro, just among many of the names, and this man coming up here. El Hijo de Fishman, a hardcore lucha athlete to be sure. There we go, proudly representing his home country. This man sporting a belt that his father used to wear, supposedly uh, won this fighting like a shark or something like that, I don't know. But a family tradition to be darn sure. And there you go, says Strong Lucha, and this guy certainly embodies that in every sense of the word. You want to type in El Hijo de Fishman, go looking online, you'll find all kinds of pictures with him. this mass grip covered in blood. This guy is certainly a hardcore athlete, but he's going to put on a show here against a man who's uh, been not only a friend, but a rival for a very, very long time, El Canic Jr. And look at the fans here at Alliance going nuts for these two authentic Lucha Libre stars. These two guys, former tag team champions down in CWF, but it did not take long for the rivalry between the two to get heated up. And of course, between their fathers as well. Boys always love to talk about whose father is the toughest. But these two guys, I'm sure, are gonna put on a show for us here today. Now, both of these guys from Mexico, as our official bell, but uh, El Canic, El Canic Jr., I think both of them, his father and himself, they kind of consider themselves of Mayan descent, channeling the spirits of ancient Mayan deities, whereas uh, El Hijo de Fishman definitely, oh wow, nice move there, definitely a fan of his home country of Mexico, and the fans here at Alliance are gonna be firmly behind him. There we go, collar and elbow. Traditional lucha rules for this one. Alcanic, obviously a little bit bigger, a little bit taller than El Hijo de Fishman. These guys very, very familiar with each other. Like I said, partners in the past have fought many, many times. This rivalry. Oh, nice hammer lock in behind. Yeah, arm drag down. Alcanic just powering him over. And in firm control still. Float over, front face lock. Wow, look at Fishman. Front face lock of his own. Gator roll getting out here. Wow, look at this. Only a one count there, but I think El Canic was certainly surprised. And now, trying to get the fans behind him. A little more cautious here, feeling each other out. But that process has happened many, many times over the years. Gonna power him down here. This is all just a show for the fans, though. Here we go, Fishman getting the leg in behind. And now Canick showing the flexibility. Well, I think he just maybe baiting Fishman in. What was this? Wow, might have been an interesting uh, submission, hamstring style, but obviously put himself in a pinning position. And yeah, there you go. These two guys ready to rumble. Yeah, a packed house here at Alliance, and these guys trying to get the fans behind them. An exciting match, not gonna be hard. A lot of these people are here specifically for this match. We go, gonna try and get on some sort of uh, submission move here. In behind, rear naked choke. El Canic, though, looks like he's just gonna power up. 
You know, Fishman going for an octopus of sorts, then the rope, so I mean, technically that should be a break. But, uh, oh wow, look at that, Kenick just slingshotting him over. And both men holding their backs. You know, having a man on your back like that, you know, constantly moving, distributing weights, it's not easy. You gotta be in top condition to go through that kind of thing night after night, and these guys do. There we go, another Mexico chance. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, I know what that means, basically call it Alcanic a girl or a woman. I'm not gonna take too kindly to that. Oh, jeez. Calling the kettle black here, Fishman. Oh, whoever else, come on, with some balls, buddy. Ah, oh, there you go. A little bit of stank on that one. Oh. There we go. Now we're dispensing with the niceties. Ducking underneath. This is the speed these kind of guys are known for. Oh, there's the familiarity though, trying to go for the leapfrog, I guess, and Alcanic had it scouted. Oh, didn't have that scouted though. Big drop kick right to the mush. Fishman gonna have to keep up with things like that, keep Alcanic off his game, to move his toes. In the corner now, Benderas. Alcanic, don't be too pleased with yourself, bud. Oh, jumping knee. Nice stuff from Fishman. John with the fans. Oh man, that might have cost him. I don't know what uh, Alcanic is trying to get the fans to chant there, but obviously not too many of them on board here. A big contingent of uh, Fishman fans in the audience, obviously. Wow, I guess a Mayan drop there. We're talking about Alcanic, but still extremely devastating. Getting on top of referee Sam Show. <laughs> the fans certainly impressed though. Yeah, Alcanic running his mouth. Getting some reactions from the fans here. Not too up on my Spanish, but everybody seemed to be rather amused with what Alcanic is saying. Gonna try and get these fans behind him now. Wow, big cannonball in the corner. I thought maybe he was wasting time and that Fishman was gonna move, but no. Lateral press. Oh, man, he hit him square. I thought he might have had him there. And now on the ref again. Sam Show's gonna have to be careful. Alcanic may start to uh, stop slapping his hand and might start slapping some faces. Fishman rolling out of the ring. I don't know if Kanik is known for his uh, high flying abilities, but it looks like he's gonna give it a go. Oh, wow. I've obviously spoken too soon. Huracan Rana takeover off the apron. And now positioning Fishman for something else. Wow. This is dangerous territory here out on the hardwood. Give me a break, man. Oh. Devastating. Ah, and Kanik very pleased with himself. Yeah. It's kind of gross. Here, let's take another look here. Off the apron, big senton, landing square. Man, Fishman took all of that. Obviously hurting. Still trying to get the fans behind him with a lucha chant, and I think Alcanic's in the ring more mocking the fans than anything else, but back to the action. Opposite side. Wow, look, Fishman. Oh. Huge spear taking him off his feet, and he's obviously hurt, stumbling around after that Irish whip. And more jaw jacking from Alcanic. And see, Sam, you better be careful, buddy. This guy's got a lot of attitude. Oh, and the fans here chanting, yes, you can, yes, you can, firmly behind El Fishman here. Excuse me, El Hijo, the Fishman. Opposite side, what's going on here? Elkanic positioning him right where he wants. Oh, digging in with the chop. Very pleased, what's he got planned? Oh, obviously, 
Got nothing planned. Fishman, drop kick off the second turnbuckle, and here we go. Suicide dive through the ropes. Awesome stuff. Here comes another Suicida dive. And it connects. Connects with Connect. <laughs> wow, and the big man feeling that one, sucking wind. But was able uh, basically to absorb him. A good, uh, a good stable base here from Alcanic. Big guy, big thick legs. Fishman though, gonna give him a seat, help him take a load off. Oh boy, wow. Takes his freaking head off. I was talking about the uh, hardcore proclivities of Fishman earlier on. Here's an example. Oh, and here's a, some DX crotch chops from this young man. That's what I'm talking about, bud. Here comes Fishman. And the fans are really getting into this one, and I can't blame them. Authentic Lucha Libre action brought to you here by Demand Lucha, El Hijo de Fishman, El Canic Jr. Two sons of two legends here in the ring, throwing fists back and forth, laying it all on the line for you. Wow, headbutts. Back and forth. Oh, geez, face first, right to the canvas. Both of these guys starting to show the effects of this match. Oh, big knee into the stomach. Panic, I think, trying to block here. Oh, wham! Very close to the ropes. Float over lateral press. Oh, and only two. Man, what a match, and we still got another hardcore no DQ street fight coming up for the Lucha Premier Championship. But right now, there we go, El Canic, Sam Show checking on him. Fishman getting the fans behind him. What hell of a Lucha Libre contest. More yes you can chance the fans behind Fishman. El Canic saying screw you guys. Gonna go in, administer some more damage here. What's he got in mind? Back body drop, Sambo style suplex. Again, but moving much, much slower than earlier in the match, these two guys. And again, on top of the referee, he wants to put Fishman out. He wants to take it home, he wants to go into the back, have a shower. There we go, windmill in there. Wow, Fishman, twisting around with a back body drop of his own. Two count only. Wow, and now Fishman's starting to show the frustration. Now Kanek, first to recover again, it seems to be the style in this match. Fishman making some space. Oh, she's getting nowhere. Now a woman chance, perhaps at Fishman. <laughs> the fans turning here, I don't know. Canick setting him up for something, obviously can't be good. Yeah, the fans now starting to get behind El Canick. He's gonna fly here. Oh, Jesus. That was awesome. Let's take another look at that flying elbow drop. Oh. 5.5 on the Richter scale with that one. That was massive. And now up to the top rope again. Oh, missing with the jumping senton. Again with the quick recovery, but Fishman right on him, boot to the gut. We go package, pile driver position. Oh, wow. Well, the back of his head. Going, driving right into the knee of Fishman. Bam, standing result. But it's over! And now Kanek holding the back of his head. I think that package pile driver, he was done after that, really. Back of his head landing square, not on the canvas, but a very short driving distance, compressing the neck right into the knee of El Fishman. Excuse me, El Hijo de Fishman. And here we go, celebrating with the fans. Awesome.
awesome contest brought to you here by Demand, Alucha and El Canada Jr. Unfortunately, gonna be going back to Mexico with an L in the record books.